the footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, joined here by our senior draft analyst, Chris James. And Chris, now that the 2014 NFL draft is complete, we're going to take a look back and hand out some draft grades. And we're going to take a look at the Oakland Raiders, who owned the fifth selection in the first round. So we're going to look at all of their draft selections, first through seventh. So let's take a look at how well the Oakland Raiders did this past May. The Oakland Raiders signed a lot of veterans in the offseason. They came into the 2014 NFL Draft looking to build young and talented depth on the roster. And from the looks of this draft on paper, they've done a really good job in doing so. Now, what I like most about the Raiders draft was the fact that they got better defensively at every level, starting with their first round pick, Khalil Mack, out of Buffalo, who can see many roles and serve many roles in the front seven. And defensive tackle Justin Ellis out of Louisiana Tech was virtually unblockable at both the East-West Shrine game and Senior Bowl. Keith McGill, Travis Carey are two outstanding cornerback prospects. McGill has the size, length, and press skills that you want, and Carey has the explosiveness and ball skills you want in the back end of your defense. And safety Jonathan Dowling is a ball hawking free safety prospect that'll be groomed behind future Hall of Famer Charles Woodson. I also like both Derek Carr, quarterback out of Fresno State, and Gabe Jackson out of Mississippi State. In my opinion, Carr should start from day one. You want to build with a young guy that'll get better with live game reps each and every week. And Gabe Jackson was my number two overall prospect in the draft. He is as clean of an offensive lineman I've seen in quite a bit. He should be an instant starter and immediate impact from day one. What I questioned about the Raiders draft was the non-selection of a wide receiver. It's tough to say where they could have picked one in this outstanding draft. Maybe in round seven with one of those seventh round picks, Brandon Coleman out of Rutgers and Cody Hoffman out of BYU was definitely available. It would have been an excellent selection and fit for Oakland. The Raiders, in my opinion, got a huge steal in Winston-Salem State linebacker Carlos Fields. He's a very good all-around linebacker that's able to play all three backer spots, and it wouldn't surprise me if Fields not only makes the team but sees significant minutes as a rookie. The Raiders also stumbled upon a pretty good wide receiver in Mike Davis out of Texas, a silky smooth and savvy route runner that excels outside of the numbers. Nico Autry out of Mississippi State had a solid career for the Bulldogs and could carve out a lengthy career as a rotational defensive end. The Raiders get an A-plus for their draft. It's hard to argue with what they did with their draft selections and undrafted rookie free agent signings. This 2014 class definitely has the Raiders headed in the right direction. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to Raider fan forums for always showing football game plan support.